Welcome to the Glenn Beck Program. Tonight, we've got a lot to cover. I'm going to show you how your government is going to control just about darn near everything. Is it possible, is it possible that they can check your credit card transactions? Oh yeah, it's more than possible. Find out how next. Come on. I want you to remember this is all what I'm going to tell you is just for you. It's for your good. It's for your good. Fundamental transformation of America. You're not going to see a lot of this stuff until it's too late and until there's an emergency. And then they'll have this framework, architecture, architecture of choice all around you. Let me ask you, we've already passed the health care bill. If they pass the financial reform, the United States government will then be in charge of how much of this economy. Will it be 20% of the economy? Will it be 48% of the economy? Or will it be 60% of the economy? Because that's fundamental transformation. Which one is it? 20, 48, or 60? I'll give you the answer here in uh, just a second. I want to tell you about another major reform about to get jammed down your throat. You excited? Oh, it's the financial reform bill. I'm giddy because all those greedy Wall Street fat cats need to be stopped and this will do it. No, it won't. No, it won't. It will only make things much, much worse and on a global scale. You know who's in charge of this? <laughs> this is so great. We got Barney Frank now putting the final touches on the bill. I love Barney Frank and, and Chris Dodd too. There they are. Mm. I have complete confidence in Chris Dodd and Barney Frank. They finally ensured that there'll never be a recession again and all the bad guys are going to be scooped up. Yeah. Can we put these guys together? I morphed them because I don't think these are separate people. I think they're this guy, Frank and Dodd. Oh! We're creating a monster in Washington, and that's what it is, Frank and Dodd. And the monster is out again. Grab your torch. Bring out the monster! These guys are about to throw your children into a well that they'll never get out of. They have a great track record. No, Frank and Dodd, they do. Especially when, it, when, they, when they get on the scent of something's wrong with the financial sector, oh, boy, they got it right. Do you remember when, when Dodd, half of Frank and Dodd, said, Fannie and Freddie are very liquid. They're in good shape, in my view. Mm, that was good. And how about when Barney said this? I think this is a case where Fannie and Freddie are fundamentally sound, that they are not in, in danger of going under. They're not the best investments these days from the long-term standpoint going back. I think they're in good shape going forward. This is, they're in the housing market. I do think their prospects going forward are very solid. No, oh, very solid, very solid. Yeah, they were completely wiped out, and now we're floating them. Yeah, all taxpayers. We're in trouble, gang. We're in big trouble. Last time they did this was health care, and you know what happened. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, you probably don't, because we were supposed to pass health care and then find out what's in it. Oh, we're finding all kinds of Christmas presents in there, like this one. Have you heard of the free rider provision? This is good. If a company offers coverage, but the premiums are above 9.5% of an employee's household income, the coverage is deemed unaffordable. And they're going to have to slap the employer with a penalty. And the worker may then be qualified for, say it with me, federal subsidies. The penalty is $3,000 a year for each employee. I, you know what? I, I love this because um, in this language it says that it would de be deemed, be deemed too expensive. I, I'm wondering who does the deeming. Oh, don't ever ask a question that you don't know the answer to. I'll show you in a minute. As health care costs go up, dropping coverage likely will be the cheaper option. So more people will end up having their health care subsidized by the federal government. Who told you that would happen? No, 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 that's crazy talk. It's in the health care bill that we now have. They also told us that it would be deficit neutral. Remember when the CBO came out with a low cost estimate below a trillion dollars and the Democrats almost wet themselves because they're like, oh, it's deficit neutral. We're like, no, it's not. That number's bogus. Uh, 
I haven't heard about any Democrats talking about how the CBO has now come out and said, yeah, about those health care costs. Uh, we were only off calculator. I guess the 115 button didn't work. We're off by $115 billion. Mm. So it's more expensive than they thought. Plus, the doctor fix. That just cost you $65 billion in a bill that was just passed. You didn't hear anything about that. No. Added another $65 billion. We told you that would happen. No, that's an outrage. Yep, it just did. Now, major companies. We talked about how these major companies were going to be hit, and they're going to drop their health care. We told you this. AT&T just said health care loss uh, tax increase will cost them $1 billion. You think they're going to pass those savings on to you? John Deere's director of labor relations said, John Deere is now considering denying employees coverage and just paying the penalty. It's what we talked about on this program and was denied. It's in the health care bill. Merry Christmas. Small businesses are required now to provide insurance, supposedly offset by a tax credit. But the tax credit, according to the bill, shrinks as the company grows. What do you think those people are going to do? Probably a hiring freeze. Just a guess. Those are the great presents and surprises. Thank you, Nancy Pelosi. And let me tell you something, America, this is nothing compared to what's in the financial bill. I want you to think of something here for just a second. Think about how much the health care bill was debated. Town halls, protests, rallies, talk radio, cable news. You know more about doctor fixes and HMOs and PPOs than you could have ever imagined. But guess what? There's still surprises popping up. You didn't, in the end, you didn't even know what was in the bill. How much debate has there been on this financial bill? How much talk on cable news? How much talk on talk radio? You see people going to town halls to talk about the financial bill? No, because it's all about the evil bankers. This is a 1,500-page bill. Do you really think that these clowns in Washington, I'm sorry, I'm not going to call them clowns anymore, these monsters that are doing this to us, do you really believe that it's, this bill is a benevolent, powerless, meaningless stack of paper that's only going to protect you? Man, I think the health care bill wore a lot of people out. I hope it didn't wear you out, because you can't be tired. The president says he's not tired, but listen, listen to what he says. Go ahead. Those folks who are trying to stand in the way of progress? That'd be you. They're, they're all, let me tell you, I'm just getting started. I don't quit. I'm not tired, I'm just getting started. He is. Remember, we're talking about the fundamental transformation of America. So are you quitting? Before I told you, they were trying to overwhelm the system and wear you out. We've had health care, cap and trade, financial, immigration, regulations. This ain't going to stop. It's not going to stop. And you can't either. If this financial bill passes, if this thing is gigantic and it's worse than the health care bill. And I will show you why right now. Remember I told you this last night, because <clears throat> remember all we're trying to do, this is all for you. They love you so much. The UN, the UN in their UN development report says, governance is not government. Remember that, this, we're not talking about a global government. No, just governance. It is the framework of rules, institutions, and practices that set limits on the behavior of individuals. Let me stop there. That's you. Do you want the UN and the globe saying that there are limits on your behavior as an individual? Limits on the behavior of individuals, organizations, and companies. It's control. Let that sink in. The basic progressive agenda has always been the same. They know better than you, so they have to control. Look how they're controlling health care. Now, here's what's coming in the financial bill. Now, we don't have the final bill yet. The House and the Senate passed their versions of the bill. Now they're molding the final version. Franken-Dodd. So, here's what we have. Might be some changes to this. Oh, I'm sure it's going to get better. This is the Senate 
because they say the House is going to be a lot like the Senate. So here it is. First and foremost, does nothing to address the problem of Fannie and Freddie. No regulation on Fannie and Freddie. Fannie and Freddie helped create the housing mess. Then they needed a $125 billion bailout, which they haven't even scratched the surface on paying back yet. There's nobody looking into Fannie and Freddie. This is a financial bill. It also creates a special protected class that is too big to fail.